Now to a random act of kindness that's restored one woman's faith in the goodness of others. Our David Spont is live at a Wawa in Mayfair tonight where the story begins, David. I love this story. This is a great story. For those who have lost their wallet, it is a horrible feeling that panic sets in. Well, this woman not only lost her wallet inside, cash, credit cards, her driver's license, and a key to her home, but now she has that new outlook thanks to a complete stranger. I was just scared about my tails because my key was in there. In just seconds, Kayla Tartaglia knew she was in trouble. Her wallet full of cash, her driver's license, and that house key was gone. She left it inside this Mayfair Wawa late Monday night. I called the store to see if anyone had turned it in, and they said no, so I kind of just gave up until someone stole it. The next day, she says her view of humanity flipped upside down. Her missing wallet was missing no more. It was inside her mailbox just blocks from the Wawa. Nothing was touched, not a penny was gone. But more importantly, she says, was a note left on top of the wallet. It reads, quote, I found your wallet at the parking lot at Tyson and Browse at 5.30 a.m. on August 1st walking by. My name is Jim. I am homeless. I hang out at McDonald's at Cotman Ave, end quote. Today we joined Kayla as she went to that McDonald's and found Jim, who says he never considered taking what was inside. I wouldn't take it. I just put it in. I didn't even bother to look what's in it. <laughs> You know, and I just put it in a nearby mailbox. He told us when he found the wallet, it became his responsibility to return it. It's a good thing to do, return some. Kayla Tartaglia says she learned more than just holding her wallet a little tighter. She learned there are good people out there, and Jim is one of them. That could have gotten in the wrong hands and something else could happen, but instead I got something good. So it makes me want to do something like good for somebody else. Clearly a random act of kindness. Well, guess what? She paid that random act of kindness back to Jim when she met him today at McDonald's. She gave him all of the money that was inside her for a while at the same amount of money when he found it. But remember, he didn't even touch it. How about that? Reporting live tonight, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.